What's up YouTube and welcome to my channel. So as you can tell from the title that I am going to be doing uh, my faux halo braid. I'm going to show you guys how I do um, the, faux my, the way I do the faux halo braid. Ugh, I can't talk right now. Um, so of course you guys just continue to watch that. But first I would also, I would love it if you guys would go ahead and just hit that subscribe button. And just go ahead and hit the thumbs up button as well. And yeah, so I'm not gonna continue to talk too much through the beginning. I'm gonna switch over to um, voiceover. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so for this I am going to be using some Eco Styler Gel. And I'm gonna use some body paints, of course. A bristle brush or any kind of brush that you like. A rat tail comb and this is optional but gorilla snot gel edge booster by um, style factor two hair scrunchies a satin scarf of course or any scarf and of course you're going to need your braiding hair this is the braiding hair that I use I forgot the length but of course um, whatever is your hair color now so of course i am going to be removing of course look at my hair um i washed my hair and the day before so i just put them in these twists of course my hair dry faster when it's that way and it's not tangled or anything so i just twist it up um as you know as such so and i'm just taking my twist out and running my fingers through it just to kind of comb it out a little bit of course making sure that it's not tangled and all of that so yeah so then I'm just gonna go ahead and speed speed I'm sorry the next clip up so now that the twists are all out and my hair is looking so wild I'm just gonna straighten my middle part I'm um, using the red tail comb And now, of course, as you can see, I just have a straight, clean part. Um, you can part it any kind of way you want to part it. I've only ever parted it using just a straight down the middle part, but I mean, you can do zigzag or whatever you want. You know? So, yeah, I'm just gonna um, put that um, side up while I work on one side, of course. And I'm gonna go into the Eco Styler. Um, you can use any eco styler you want to, or any gel you want to, it'll all work the same, of course. You know, whichever one is best for your hair, or whichever one you like the most. And, um, I had a spray bottle, of course, just to dampen it up. Now, I only worked in, like, I kind of parted off, like, sections, just to make sure that it's gonna be, um straight all the way through make sure you had no like no bumps and all of that just to make sure it was like straight at the root of course so yeah um you guys are gonna see me do that in a minute so just wetting like the root part up with the spray bottle and then I to um my eco styler of course just get a little bit on your hand like that much and I'm just gonna rub it of course only on the root part and smooth that through and of course um, I'm gonna go into my edge booster this is um optional as well I mean you can use whatever you want that you know it's gonna just smooth your hair out I just love the edge booster and like it has like a really good hold to them and all that so if you haven't used that then I suggest you go to your local beauty supply store and you get you some 
um, Style Factor Edge Booster. They come in different scents. That green one, of course, is in, um, I think, Sugar Melon or something like that. But, yeah, you pretty much just use whatever you want. So, I'm basically going to speed this up, of course, and just going to do the whole one side the exact same way. So tying off that part that I've already done with the hair scrunchie, of course. And now I'm going to work on the front part. So I'm going to wet that down just a little bit. And I'm detangling it. Um, should have used a big tooth comb, but just detangle it a little bit. Find that eco styler. Of course, make sure you want to lay it down nice and flat. So I'm gonna go in, of course, with my edge booster. And this is where I go and of course, I mean, use um, any brush you want. Um, I'm going in with the red tail comb, of course, just to kind of help smooth that out uh, as well. But you, of course, want like a really like a big bristle brush. I mean, you can use any brush you want, but to me, like those really like hard brushes work way better. Um, you know, trying to like slick down. You know, a ponytail or whatever, it works way better than like a soft bristle brush. So that's why I say just, you know, a, a hard bristle brush that you can get right from your beauty supply store. You can probably get it from Walmart or Target too. But, um, yeah, it's just a hard bristle brush that, you know, it's gonna stick it down pretty much, pretty easier than, yeah. So I'm just, um, brushing and coming that together. And then I'm gonna go in with the Gorilla Snot. Um, you do not have to use the Gorilla Snot. I just went in and used it because um, I don't know, if you like that front part right there that I'm trying to lay out is very stubborn. Okay, so I'm just you know making sure that it's nicely smooth, smooth it out. And all that before I actually completely like put it in like this final uh, ponytail or whatever. Just tie it up with the hair scrunchie. And you want to make sure that it's um, a, like a low ponytail. You don't want it to be too high up because I mean when you're ready to like put, the, put it together. Which I mean you will see as you continue watching like it just wouldn't sit right. So you just want to make sure that it's like as low as. You can get it, of course, if that makes sense. And of course, I'm just fixing um, everything. See that very front piece just keeps like drawing up. It's so annoying. I had to put like a lot of um, the edge booster between the edge booster and my um, girl slide. I had to put a lot on it just for that little piece to stay down. Like, it gets on my nerves. So now, I'm just gonna um, plait it. Plait the rest of my hair off like a braid or whatever. Um, so, so that's basically what you wanna do.
And of course, I'm going to put a rubber band on the end of it just to, you know, hold it, um, of course, just so that it doesn't unravel or anything. And of course, I'm just making sure everything is slicked down. Of course, um, I'm done with that one side and just putting some more of that edge booster on um, the front part just to make sure that, you know, it doesn't curl up too much. And of course, I'm just making sure, you know, that it's nice and neat. You want to make sure that it's... Um, as flat as possible you know and just moving on to the other side I sped this part up because I'm basically just doing same thing to this side of course as I've done to the other side and just show you guys like my hair is stretched out or whatever I haven't done this in a minute since I uh, cut my hair last year twice and it's basically at the length it was last year before I cut it the first time. Um, so of course it did grow up pretty much. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready. I'm getting ready to actually cut it again. So. Okay, so I'm at the front part, of course. And just, I mean, it's, I'm not doing anything different to the front on this side that, you know, I didn't do to the other side. It's basically all the same, but um, I just slowed it back down once I got to the front part. Making sure that it's nice and slicked down. Okay, so now going in with um, that edge booster just to fix that very front part right there, very annoying front part that I have. And of course, just making sure everything is still slicked down. You want to make sure that everything is nice and neat, of course. And I struggled trying to keep that part down. So, put a lot of edge booster. So I put a lot of that edge booster on that part and for some reason it just all falls to um, the left side for some reason because I did have you seen like at the beginning I did part it to where it could separate on both sides but for some reason it just tends to just all want to go to that left side so this is very annoying. Now I'm going to just um, put my satin scarf on top of it just to make sure it's laid down and I know I said 30 minutes 
that I'm gonna just go sit under a dryer, but I did not sit under no dryer for 30 minutes. Um, but yeah. So now I'm back. It's nice and laid. Nice and slick, nice and flat. And I'm gonna go in with my two braids, of course. And you can use any braiding hair that you want to use. It really does not matter. So, um, you want to take it. You want to leave the ribbon on it. I basically have two packs because... You want to use two pack packs. You don't want to split the hair up unless it's like something that you want to do. And then you're just going to basically tie that rubber band around your two plaits that you have. Or two ponytails or whatever you want to, you know, call them. And then it's going to look like this, basically. Pippi long stocking. And what you want to do with your two, this is what I do. I just try to um, figure out where, where, how far you want, you know, how far you want it from the front or the back or whatever. And, you know, you just place your two, um, two little pigtails exactly where you are going to lay them, if that makes sense. And I'm just gonna bobby pin them, um, of course, to the side like that. And maybe just two or three bobby pins in it, you know, to make sure that your hair is secured. You don't have to worry about that front piece because it's going to get laid down anyway whenever you cross the two um, braided plaits together. So you don't have to worry about that. Unless you want to bobby pin it down, it's fine, but it doesn't really matter. the same thing to press the other side you want to make sure that they are like lined up and even with each other and of course just probably pin it right on down okay so this next part um basically you're just going to take the two and you're going to cross them over like that real simple real easy this whole hairstyle is really easy for you to use and then, like I said, you know, you're just going to, like, make sure that it lays on top of your two plaits, the plaits that you have. So, you want to make sure it lays on top. And you make sure, want to make sure that you don't braid the hair too tight. So, where it's, like, wide enough to cover your hair up. I'm going to bring it to the other side. Um, it's different ways that you can do this hairstyle. I've seen people use only one pack of braiding hair to do it with. Um, and one ponytail basically. Like it's different videos to do it. But I just did it this way. Because I just wanted to see how it would be. And I actually like it this way. So yeah. And of course you're just going to bobby pin it down. Make sure that it's nice and secured. And make sure that again it is covering up your hair, your plaits that you probably pin down first.
and it kind of kept sliding but yeah you just want to make sure that it's nice and secure so you know put as many bobby pins as you need to and the end part I just kind of tuck it underneath um, that flat on the other side and of course the bobby pin it down and of course you want to take the other one I'm just stretching it out a bit of course and then you want to make sure that you don't flat it too tight. And of course, crossing it over to the other side, just like that. And then just tuck it underneath. And I like how the cross goes in the middle like that, so I mean, you just want to make sure that it's centered, of course. And then, of course, just bobby pin it down, of course. And not only do you want to make sure that it's bobby pin to, like, cover up your hair, you want to make sure that it's um, the two sides are bobby pin together, um, in the middle at least, you know, just so that. It doesn't lift or, you know, come apart. I'm just checking and making sure that it's secured down, of course. Again, add as many bobby pins as you want. it does need to be secured you know and adding my last and final bobby pin which is kind of a show because my hair is thick so that plait was thick and it was kind of hard to like stick through or whatever but you know I'm gonna go through and I'm just fixing you know, my hair just to make sure you know it doesn't come up or anything so and put in some more of that edge booster on that very stubborn front part right there on the side and yeah so that is the final look like that I'm just gonna show you guys the back part it's nice and neat and on back to the front so yeah that is it and I thank you guys for watching